Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going back up to the International Space Station where Mary H. has shared a video with me dated October 15th of 2020, looking at a multicolored object up above Earth that appears to be being eclipsed very strange video. Also some new high octane photos from around the world. New sky phenomena pictures sent in here recently and I'm working on many, many more. But first, here at spaceweather.com looking at the most recent near Earth asteroid list and it's been updated in the last 24 hours and, and these darker colors you see highlighted here are new additions to the ever growing long list and today, the 17th, we've got one coming between the Earth Earth and the moon that would be a, an asteroid uh, about 18 to 20 feet wide not very big but still 0.4 LD that's between the earth and the moon tomorrow October 18th have one at 0.6 and these are all new ones that too between the earth and the moon 11 that would be about 33 feet wide October 19th, we've got them three days in a row going between the Earth and the Moon. Won't be a problem, it's just they'll probably have friends. So watch the skies the next two or three nights because there could be activity, not only in the nighttime sky, but the daytime sky as well. When we have three asteroids coming that close to Earth, they don't normally travel alone is what I'm saying. This one too is 33 feet wide. So uptick in near-Earth asteroid, the list has at least six new additions and probably counting, hopping over to the website, looking at the Schumann resonance, spike in data in the last six hours. Origins, uh, probably the sun. We do have a Earth-facing coronal hole. This activity over here, don't really know where that stemmed from, but there will be some solar activity here soon as a coronal hole is turning towards the Earth. Looking at the Yellowstone supervolcano Caldera Seismos, another day at the office, steady flow of small energy around the supervolcano, and I would expect that considering it's a super volcano we just don't want to come here someday and see all of these seismographs dark blue that would be problematic so so right now I would say everything looks pretty good now up to the International Space Station where Mary shared this video with me dated October 15th of 2020 and you can see what she noticed right here this is the International Space Station as it's coming out of the dark side headed towards the daylight side of the Earth. This is not the moon. This is the original video as I received it from Mary. I have not adjusted it in any way. And we've got something up here above the Earth. And as I go in a little closer, you're going to see it's multicolored. And it appears to be being eclipsed very rapidly. Super unusual object here. I wouldn't say that's Venus. It's too elongated as you're going to see right now as I zoom in. On this object, whatever it is, I don't claim to know what it is. It's just another one of those videos that it's too good not to share. I'm simply passing this along with you guys. This is above the Earth. See the eclipse right there? See how it's elongated? I wouldn't think that was Venus, would you? See the multicolors? That's not the moon. And besides, what would be eclipsing the moon like that? That is absolutely bizarre. No joke. We're seeing a lot of activity above the Earth from the International Space Station. A wide variety of different things. High speed objects. This one here is obviously slow but multicolored and appears to be being eclipsed by something. See the shadows? The rapid shadows going in front of the light. Either that or the light, multicolored light itself, is blinking just in various places. That's why I refer to it as an eclipse because the entire light is not turning on and off, just parts of it. Like something is moving in between the view of the camera and the light itself, creating what appears to be an eclipse. You got red, green, I see blue every once in a while, uh, purple, there's light pink, pretty much a wide variety of colors across the spectrum but I don't have the slightest idea. This is a first for me. I've never seen anything like it. I'm going to leave it up to you guys, as always, to decide. You tell me what we're looking at here. Uh, Mary is a avid International Space Station viewer. She watches that like a hawk, and she sends me a lot of videos of the International Space Station, and this is new to her as well. Look at that. Did you see the, the blinking there of that? Looks like something dark is moving in between like I said, the, the light and the camera. More so over by the light. I don't know, but this went on until it obviously went out of view. 
and the space station entered the, the daytime side of the planet. So there you have it, a multicolored light visible from the International Space Station appearing to be eclipsed by an unknown object. Here's a brand new picture slideshow, a couple of minutes long. New photos sent in from all around the world. John E. from Longmont, Colorado. Got some wavy looking clouds in the sky. Look like they belong in the ocean. Fort Collins, Colorado. Tracy and Jim L. Recent wildfire smoke engulfing the skies of Colorado. These are record setting wildfires we're seeing this year in 2020. All throughout the western United States and Oregon, California, Washington, Idaho. There you see in Colorado, we've got one now out here in Arizona. Timmy E. out of Kansas City, Missouri. Very colorful clouds in the proximity of the sun like you see here. Walsenburg, Colorado. Scott and Jen. Also, what appears to be rings around the sun. Ron H., a dual sky phenomenon. Don't see this very often. And I'm not sure the location here. Received the photo from Ron H. Richard D., very low profile, double decker rainbow. Looks like it's almost touching the ground in the center. Shannon G. out of Tucson, Arizona. Golden sky at sunset. That's about as gold as you can get. Look at that. Shane S. out of Oklahoma. Big V in the sky, Shane noticed. Alberta, Canada, Steve Q. Very long roll cloud, practically touching the ground, expanding in both directions as far as he could see. Sydney, Australia, Omar H. Got a unique cloud up in the sky. This is what drew his attention to the sky, this horseshoe looking, or at least a part of a horseshoe cloud up in the sky. Get a load of that, would you? Unreal, Bangkok, Thailand, Jakusim. Noticed also a very unique cloud, got some sort of a structure protruding out the right hand side of it. And this thing was gigantic, towering over the city. Dwayne DeFay, sent in by Mary H. from Michigan. Very bright pink and purple sky from up in Duojiak, Michigan. Good job, guys. Keep the photos coming. Maui, Hawaii. Lori, spectacular view of the sky at sunset from Hawaii. Another double-decker rainbow, very intense double-decker rainbow by Jorgen out of Sweden. Valentine, Texas, James C. This is a recent rocket launch, or at least the trail from a rocket launch that was witnessed from Valentine, Texas. Next little video clip here is from Marshall, Michigan, sent in by David H. of a spectacular roll cloud at sunset. Bright orange and yellow video clips sent in by David H. from Michigan. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website. And sometimes I'll use them in a picture slideshow just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day. And be safe out there.